What's up everybody, it's me Peyton from Peyton Lifts and today we are going to be going over my three year creatine transformation. That's right, I've been on creatine for three years now and I want to tell you guys all about it. So let's dive right into this topic. Let's start off with the absolute meat and potatoes of this conversation. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I'm going to give you four thousand words starting off with day one on creatine. Then we're gonna follow that up with year one on creatine. Then we're gonna follow that up with year two on creatine. And then we're gonna follow that up with where we are right now, year three on creatine. So if you look at these photos, you'll see that there is significant improvement between day one and year one. You'll see that there's improvement from year one to year three where we're at right now. And so that can only mean one thing. My Photoshop skills have gotten better. I'm just kidding. But we can start off by talking about day one to year one. I remember when I first started taking creatine, I was like, okay, well, I've plateaued, I'm in great shape, this is the best shape I'm going to be in probably, this is the best my physique is going to look, I have, I've definitely plateaued, it'll just be like small little differences here, from here going forward, and, you know, it turns out I was extremely wrong, you know, I seriously regret not taking creatine sooner, <laughs> and honestly, my, you know, if you're looking for an opinion on this video of whether you should take creatine or not, unless there's like a medical reason for you not to, Absolutely, you should be taking creatine. I am a big advocate for creatine and unless something devastating happens and I find out some devastating research, um, I always will be an advocate for creatine. Um, anyways, yes, my first physique photo, I was 170 pounds. My squat, bench, and deadlift were, were fairly average. They were doing pretty good. Uh, you know, I train hard. I've always trained pretty hard. and. You know, again, I thought that was where I was stuck. I thought I was gonna have like small little improvements from there going forward. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish I knew better than that. So just within the first six months, I gained 15 pounds of body mass and I kept pretty much the same amount of body fat percentage. And in addition to that, my squat, bench, and deadlift all went up by about 40 pounds. That's fantastic, right? Now, if you look at day one to year three, those photos, holy nuts, man. I could never have guessed. Um, I try to be humble. I try not to be prideful. I try to, you know, acknowledge that I am not the best physique in the world, but holy nuts. I know that I look so much better than I did three years ago, and it is a wonderful feeling because just when I thought I'd plateaued, all of a sudden, I found a way to push through that plateau, and now I look, in my opinion, a thousand times better than I did three years ago. So, three years ago, I weighed 170 pounds, I had like a 11-12% body fat, and now my current stats, I am at about 182 pounds. I just started my bulk, so we'll check back in a few months, see where we're at there. Um, and my body fat percentage is probably like 11 to 12 percent, which has stayed relatively the same. But of course, I weigh more, so it's hard to maintain uh, that closer to 10 percent body fat percentage, which is what I've always strived for. But overall, I am very satisfied with my current physique and current strength and everything that I have right now. So let's go over my squat, bench, and deadlift. For my squat, current PR it is still 365. Uh, that's the highest I've ever done. Right now, it is probably way below that. I have not squatted since probably six, seven months ago uh, because my knees have just started having a lot more pain and I will hopefully fix that at some point, but for now, I'm just gonna lay off of squatting completely. In terms of deadlift, I have laid off of deadlift for the most part for the last few years. My highest ever was 405 pounds. I got that maybe three years ago and I think it was a month or two ago, I was testing out my maxes in the gym and I got 395 with good form and maybe I could have done more but I chose not to that day so we're just gonna leave it at 405 maybe I'll try and break that PR eventually but for now I'm gonna I'm gonna let it stay there and I know that you know if I needed to just all of a sudden I can go up to 395 at least so in regards to bench press uh, within the first few months of you know taking creatine I got up to 315 pounds which was a goal of mine and now uh, a few months ago, I actually broke that PR and I got to 325 pounds, which I was striving really, really hard for, for two years. And I finally got it. So that's my current PR. So we're still making strength, strength gains while on creatine. So in the last creatine update, I told you guys that I would be moving up to 10 grams of creatine per day because the recommended dose is five grams. Uh, so my hope was that, hey, if five grams does all this for me, what's 10 grams gonna do? but I tried it out for probably two or three months and I saw zero difference. 
So I stopped doing that. So we're just gonna we're gonna stick with five grams of creatine because that's probably all I need. I get a lot of meat in my diet, and meat has creatine in it. So I think that's uh, more five grams is more than enough to bring me up to the limit of what I need. So the next thing to be addressed. Uh, a lot of people say, and a lot of people warned me in the comments that I was going to start losing my hair supposedly because that's something that, you know, like one study said that you might lose your hair if you start taking creatine. And I am happy to report that I do not think I am losing my hair. I could be delusional, of course. I would say my hairline has receded a little bit since, you know, reaching adulthood, but I, that was well before creatine. My hairline is the same as it was before I started creatine. And with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. Our three year creatine transformation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video educational and informative and I hope that you go out right now and go get yourself some creatine because it is, in my opinion, the best supplement that has ever been invented. It is the most studied supplement. It is just the best supplement. It is the only supplement that has made a significant difference in my uh, physique and my strength and training and everything. So I would highly suggest that if you're on the fence about creatine, just go for it go grab it right now. So if you're interested in workout plans, meal plans, or coaching, hit me up. My uh, social medias and email are in the description below. And with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.